we do is we look at two areas in terms of delivery. Don't so much look at the content, although there are times when we have to examine certain areas of content in relation to your objectives. This is a very short presentation in terms of what you're looking to gain from the course. So the content we assume is going to be valid and it is what you're looking for from there. So you should have an understanding of what the content is so you're not worried about, you know, knowing your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, it is, uh, your stuff is you. <laughs> yeah, okay. However, what we look at is, we look at two areas. We look at the vocal uh, image, what you say vocally, and how you come across in terms of your body language. And these are the two areas that we would look at in terms of critique. Now, you were saying that you'd like to have more of a flow in terms of your presentation, that you felt that you had to look at your notes. There is nothing wrong with actually looking at your notes and taking out a little bit of flow as long as you know what you're doing. When we're talking about flow, it's a flow of ideas and concepts. An audience like to see that when you're delivering the information that you're clear in terms of the, what you're trying to say, there's a point at which you're trying to get to and the message is delivered with clarity. You may not be uh, a quick dynamic speaker, but you do need to deliver it with a level of clarity that the audience can see that there is you know, conviction in terms of what you're saying, there is a competence in terms of what you're saying, so you're delivering it there. The only time I've noticed on your presentation, you use a good use of intonation. As I say, when you're speaking, you can intonate quite well. And there are times when you, you speak quite strongly about a particular subject if it matters to you. Oh, yeah. the t there are times, though, that um, it was slightly hesitant. Yeah, and the, the, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Mm, and the bit where most people are slightly hesitant in a presentation is the first... 20 to 30 seconds because they're getting themselves into presentation mode. Now that type of work needs to be done before you actually get on your feet. One of the key elements of this is make sure you practice so the first minute or two of your presentation, and this is a short presentation, so and you were throwing it at the deep end, but you've got to know what you're talking about so that when you start your presentation, you're almost starting with your feet running. So people can see with a level of confidence. But actually, uh, allows people to see if a person can start off a presentation confidently and all the elements are there, then that adds to the way in which they take on board the quality and credibility of information. So a lot of the initial work which is done is um, on the credibility of the presenter and not necessarily on the credibility of the information. Because the initial part of the presentation, you're not really delivering anything that, you know, that is going to make be earth shatteringly important. You're really just going to introduce yourself and who you are, what you're going to be talking about, and maybe a few things about why the audience should be there. Uh, but you have to make sure that that first few seconds is, is right. Because remember, if the audience don't know you, they're going to make an instant judgment on you. Yeah. And first impressions are quite important. A good presenter knows how to, c how to control the audience's first impressions. But also a good presenter throws away their own first impressions. You should never get caught up in your own first impressions of the audience, oh, they don't like me, or they look like a tough bunch. Throw that away, but create your own. Because what you're doing is you're manipulating the thought process of the audience. Only slightly hesitant at the very beginning. Once you've gone into a bit of a flow, you are fine. Body language. Now, your body language is something, vocally, uh, you are stronger than you are visually. Okay. I'll tell you why. Hand gestures you use. Good. Um, not strong gestures, but you use your hands, which is good because your, your hands are your external you can be the way in which you externally represent your feelings and your emotions. But you need to know how to use gestures, strong gestures, making a point, and it should match in terms of what you're saying. If you say a word strongly or a phrase strongly, your gesture should match that, both in your hands and your face. Okay? Now, your hand gestures are good. The only thing is, a couple of things you need to be aware of. One, you tend to shuffle a little bit on your feet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. You move a little bit on your feet where really you should be looking to control your movements. Now I'm not saying that moving on your feet isn't a, is a terrible thing because it's not a terrible thing and some presenters actually use movement as part of their presentation, sure. it's their style. Yeah. But if you're doing it unconsciously you need to know when it, become, when it is unnoticeable and it's, and it's fine or when it becomes a distraction. Yours isn't too bad but really we're only judging on the shortest presentation here.